think that Yanni caused the fire? I think Yanni is totally responsible for the fire. Okay. Um, and before this, you, she said that, you know, you even had, uh, you've been watching her since she was a young girl, right? Mm -hmm. And that you even had something to do with naming her. Right. So you were obviously a big part of her life. Yes. Um, and where's the relationship now? There isn't one right now, Steve, because of the fire. What do you hope happens today? The truth comes out. Okay. All right, well, hopefully you get the truth. All right, let's meet your goddaughter, Yanni. Stop being dramatic. You're freaking dramatic. Your dog is living. I had glass in my foot for hours. You was never there. My dog died for 90 minutes. He had to be resuscitated. There was paramedics there. Why didn't you have them take the glass out your foot then? It wasn't hurting then. I wasn't thinking about my foot. It was children that was involved. You're bogus for this. You knew that I was watching the kids 15 hours a day. I was lazy. Are you serious? Yanni, we were building a business. We were supposed to be a family member. We were supposed to love each other and care for each other, but this has turned into nothing but trash. Trash, Grace, yes. you was never there for them kids. The fire happened because you knew one of them children did it. Why would I sit there and light somebody's house on fire? I was 19 at the time. Stop playing with me, Grace. Tell me about the day of the fire. What happened? So the day of the fire, I was in Grace room. It was me, an infant, and two other two other ones was one was in the bedroom, one was in the bathroom. He was in the shower. And I was cleaning up Grace room. Some, something told me, just get up, check the house. As soon as I got up, when I hit Grace's door, the fire alarm went off. I knew one was in the bathtub. I knew one was sitting on the bed watching cartoons while I was cleaning. So I went in the room with the other child. And I'm looking around to see what's going on. Next thing you know, I see uh, the bed is on fire. First thing I seen on the floor was a blanket. No, Grace did not show me the whole house where, where safety is. Most people would do that. So I'm looking. To be honest, I have fire extinguishers in my house. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I mean, I, I was new to the I'm house. I'm just saying, even if you do, I, I think, you know, that's one of those things, like, you try to be prepared, but... You know, to be honest, like I said, I'm sure one's in the kitchen cabinet and... Yeah, because I went downstairs and I was looking for it, couldn't find it, got a pot, filled it up with water. By the time I got up the stairs, yes, like she said, it was in the middle of the hallway. One, it's too much smoke coming out of the bedroom to just sit there and just throw it. No, my instinct was grab point, all the children. At what point, like, you know, I, I know you're getting water and everything else, but why didn't you just say, I'm going to call 911 and let the fire department handle this? I don't know, Steve. I was just a panic, and I was just ready for, like, to get out the house and get the fire out. I was... Grace says that you asked her for money. Yes. No, it wasn't because of that. I wanted money so I can... We all... We, everybody lost something. Everybody. Everybody but lost But she something. lost the house. And I lost my stuff, too, Steve. I lost stuff that was important to me. What did you lose? I lost my favorite Lucky Shorts and my favorite teddy bear, <laughs> and I could have lost my license on top of that. I'm so, I, I, hold on. Okay, but do you see where that kind of comes across as being... But Steve... Does not betray you in the best light that you're worried about shorts and a teddy bear and a license when she lost the house? I didn't really care about the... I didn't really care... I didn't care about the shorts and anything else. I cared about because the fact she had prior knowledge that I was already going back to Chicago. She did not know that the fact, the reason I left was because she was treating me like a child. First off, I'm 19. I don't have children at all. Still to this day, I don't have no children. She sat there, hours gone. The reason why I left was because she was treating me like a nanny. She would paint the picture of us going to Indianapolis to go see survivors, and she was telling me, oh, yeah, you want to move to Arizona? And we talked about it, and she flew me out there. I moved all the way to her country because of Grace. Um, and now you say you want to change your name. Yes, I, I hate it. Because of the fire? Because Grace. Grace accused me. She keep blaming me for everything. Oh, you're the reason what for you, this. What do you hope happens today? I know you came here and took a lie detector test. Uh, you know, 
to prove that you didn't start this fire. But what do you hope happens? Steve, I just hope she get the truth that she needs. And how has this fire affected you? I, I've been traumatized from it. I'm very careful. Family don't want me around their children no more. And that hurts. It hurts so badly for somebody to sit there. Oh, you're 19, but you're the one that caused it. That hurts. And you're not with Grace anymore? No, I don't speak to Grace at all after that. Did you move back to Chicago? Yes. All right, Yanni, you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you deliberately set the fire that happened at Grace's house? You answered no. Did you accidentally set the fire that happened at Grace's house? You answered no. Did you deliberately allow that fire to spread and burn out of control at Grace's house? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Yanni told the truth. an apology, something that you ruined my name for, for no reason. <laughs> Can you forgive me? I'll forgive you, but I don't want you nowhere in my life no more. Like, I just, I just can't, I can't rebuild it to you apologize and tell family it's the truth that I didn't do it. Well, the truth is out now, Yanni. You didn't do it, but I'm still homeless. I'm still suffering from it. I'm still having nightmares for being a, not having insurance that I failed my family. I'm sorry you lost your favorite shorts. I'm sorry you lost your teddy bear. I'm sorry that people don't trust you. But irresponsibility is irresponsibility. Says the one who accused somebody, you got the truth. The truth I knew is, the and truth. I said you, I don't care. I'm done with you. Um, you know, I try to see all sides of this uh, when something like this happens. And, you, you know, you try to put her, put her, you know, put yourself in her shoes. Here's a 19-year-old girl who maybe was frustrated with the situation. Uh, she believed it wasn't what she was expecting when she moved out there. Maybe felt a little overwhelmed watching a bunch of kids. And kind of, you blamed her for this fire when it turns out she really had nothing to do with it. I, and I'm... <laughs> And I, I know it's a tremendous loss, losing the house and everything else. But for her to have, as a 19-year-old, everybody looking at her like she was the cause, she had something to do with it, because of your accusations, I think you have to be more, just my opinion, apologetic towards her. Don't, don't talk to me, talk to her. Yanni, I want to be apologetic. I'm sincerely apologize for blaming you and accusing you. I want our relationship back. I miss you and I love you. You were my baby. Can you forgive me? I hope this gives you peace. I hope this helps you with the rest of your family, with people looking at you a certain way. And I hope you can mend your relationship because I don't think anybody set out to harm. You didn't set out to harm her. You certainly didn't set out to harm your godmother. I hope this helps you that you two can have a relationship.
Thank you so much.